does she do it? Whether she's nipping to the shops, hopping on the tube, or undertaking a mammoth schedule of royal engagements, the Princess of Wales always looks immaculate. We rarely see a hair out of place, and you could forget smudged mascara, patchy foundation, or chip nails. In fact, mother of three Kate looks even better now in her 40s than she did in her 20s, from her glowing complexion to her bouncy brunette locks. Well, of course, she has a top team whose job it is to ensure she embodies perfection. But since entering the royal spotlight, Kate's look has changed dramatically. Here, we take a look at how Kate has transformed from the bronze girl next door, running around St Andrews University and partying with Prince William, to an elegant future queen. As a young woman in her 20s, Kate embraced the carefree and natural look with her signature heavy eyeliner. She kept in fantastic shape thanks to her many sporting passions, including rowing and hockey. And before the future royal turned to designer blouses and dress coats, she was usually seen wearing a smart blazer themed with a tea dress or jeans for a more casual look. Her natural brunette locks were left loose, cascading past her shoulders in waves. And if she wore foundation, it would be very light coverage with some very subtle pink lipstick. The turning point came ahead of her wedding to Prince William in 2011 when she was aged 29. Surprisingly, Kate decided to do her own makeup for her wedding day after taking lessons from an expert. And she looked every inch the perfect princess. So of course, Kate famously did her own makeup for her wedding day. Really, really bold and interesting decision, but one that definitely paid off. There's something so so normal about that. And she, she knew her own face. She obviously knew what she liked. I can understand that. And I think it was a great choice. She looked fantastic. Kate in her 20s is just kind of like all of us. She was very young, she was a student, and she went through a massive, massive transition. All of us go from that transition from student to working, etc. but she went through something so much bigger, from sort of nobody to one of the most photographed women in the world. I think she did it with great ease and elegance. There's a real sort of transition, I think, when you see her at university, in her jeans, there's those famous pictures of her in August 2004 outside Blenheim Palace in her sort of full country Kate look, tweed head to toe. And then there's those engagement pictures from November 2010 where she's wearing that beautiful dress by Issa. And that, I think, is the beginning of her transition into princess. Kate's wedding marked the beginning of her huge transformation. As well as entering her 30s, she was adjusting to life as a newlywed, as well as her first years as a working royal. Her makeup became more defined, subtle and elegant. And it was during these years that Kate began to adopt her signature bouncy blow-dried hairstyle. The princess also started to experiment with her hair colour, opting for honey-coloured highlights while also trying out a middle parting. With all eyes on her, Kate's wardrobe saw a major upgrade as well. The casual t-shirts were replaced with smart, colourful coats and elegant dresses with sophisticated high necklines. Kate's 30s are when she's in classic Kate mode, the things that we know her really well for, those coat dresses by Catherine Walker, who's a London designer and was actually Princess Diana's, one of her favourite designers. Um, we see her in a lot of Alexander McQueen, of course, who she also wore on her wedding day. A lot of her tour outfits are by Catherine Walker and Alexander McQueen. She wore a lot of both of those designers on her tour to Canada in 2016, as well as Jenny Packham. Lots of coat dresses, lots of uh, skirt suits, the classic sort of look we think of when we think of Kate. Fast forward to the 2020s, Kate's look has continued to evolve, becoming more regal and more stylish. Her glossy hair and stunning wardrobe is the envy of many. We now frequently see her wearing trouser suits, elegant Catherine Walker coats and bold designer blouses. She has swapped her clutch bags for more mature top handle bags as well. And during the King's coronation in May, she looked every inch a modern royal in her stunning tiara. Kate has also abandoned her dark circles of eyeliner, opting for a flick on the upper eyelid instead. And aside from her physical appearance, there's also a new sense of confidence within the princess. While public speaking once filled her with dread, leaving her to occasionally stumble over her words, she now has a renewed sense of confidence. She is looking her best in her 40s. She's looking better than she ever has. She 
has gone for, I think, so far in her is a slightly more sort of fashion-forward take on things. Of course, she still loves the odd high street piece. She wore some 1799 earrings from Zara to the BAFTAs in February. She wore some Cezanne earrings as well recently. You know, she loves a high street piece, especially a high street accessory. But generally, her outfits in her 40s have been by some really high-end designers, sort of a step above those that she was wearing in her 30s. There's still, of course, a lot of McQueen. There's also a lot of Alessandra Rich, who's become one of her absolute favourite designers. She's worn her for lots of important moments in the past couple of years. Alessandra Rich is an Italian-British designer known for her sort of vintage-esque silhouettes. She does a great sort of power shoulder. She's also worn several pieces by Roxanda, a bit more of a sort of high fashion Kate in her 40s, um, which I'm loving. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more royal content.